guys, it's Monique from Vegan Living 24-7. Today I'm going to do another what I eat in a day video. So I've just made my typical shake. So it's got like one frozen banana in here, almond milk, ground up chia seeds and ground up flax seeds. And then I put in some hemp hearts and then cacao powder and some cinnamon. Ooh. So I'm going to be heading to Cineholic a little bit later. It's actually their grand opening. They're doing uh, cinnamon buns for a dollar for per person. I don't know if they're going to be like mini ones or like full size ones. I guess we'll see. But I'm going to meet up with some friends there and I'm really excited for a fully vegan establishment, like another one coming to Edmonton. So exciting. Of cashews soaking because later I'm going to make some cashew uh, sour cream. Okay, folks, we're just here at Swiss Chalet Express. We're going to see what we can uh, get for a good meal. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So change of plans, I guess. Um, there's a huge lineup, so we decided to come out like we looked online and it looked like there's about 200 people waiting in line. So we decided to come out a little bit after, but I think there's probably still a bit of a lineup. We will see. We're just walking down there now. But it looks like it's just kitty corner stuff, so you can kind of see the We're the last ones that got the dollar cinnamon buns. It's all good. So we paid about $7.50 each, I think, for them. Not too bad. We're pretty excited to eat them. We got three flavors. So now we are going to check out Love Pizza because I've been there once before. I'll link the video up above, but this one has not been there yet. And I really love that they put chickpeas on it. All right, so I did a build your own. I got the gold forest grains for the crust because that sounded interesting. And then I basically got like pineapple and some other thingy for the beginner thing before they roast it. Um, and I got two sauces, the spicy sauce and the garlic, the spicy tomato sauce and garlic. And then I basically afterwards just asked them to put like every single vegetable on it and then that were fresh and then some black pepper. And there's jam and mozzarella on it as well. Really good. Chickpeas. Jeff had ordered three. I ordered one. I wanted to get the monster cookie, but he had already ordered that, so he asked me to get the blueberry pie one because apparently that's the one that he actually wanted. <laughs> so, okay. So we've let our food settle a little bit because I was quite full after. So this one is the blueberry pie. And I have no idea what the other ones are. Ooh, this one has Oreo. Ooh, this must be the monster cookie one. Look how pretty it is. There's a pot in the way. Could be the Great Canadian. Let's see. They put like initials on top. It says CBGC Oreo SJ at CS. So, yeah, 
this one might be the great Canadian we're thinking. Yeah, yeah, looks very pretty. And then this is an OS, which is the original, I guess. So this is just the original with just the blaze on top. It smells pretty good. And this is some sort of crunchy thing. This must be like the giant cookie thing. Bom, 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 bom. And then the blueberry. So I think I'm gonna try the cookie one. No. Yeah, this is the cookie one. Ooh. Tastes caramel right away. Mmm. That's really good. I think these slightly melted. Ow. I just bit my tongue. Slightly melted in my car because it was really warm out. And we left them in there while we went outside for pizza. So I think I got them mixed up. I think this one's the Great Canadian and I actually prefer this one a lot better. Like the caramel sauce. Um, yeah. If I were to just like legit eat all four of these by myself, I would feel very sick. But having a bite or two of them, it's really die? good. Did I die? <laughs> That's Jeff. Okay, so now I'm going to just try a bite of a regular cinnamon boom. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Even better if we, we heated it up, I think, but this is really good. But yeah, legit, if you were to just eat even just one of these, especially the ones with the toppings, like you'd be a little bit in sugar overdose, but it's very, very tasty. And I find that the, just the regular one on its own isn't too terribly sweet, but I do have a sweet tooth, so it's hard to say. Jeff would be a better indicator of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna be back again. I like the regular one, and I really like the, the Canadian one. Okay, so while I'm filming, I might as well try the blueberry one. All right, might as well. Let's put a blueberry over here with this like cookie crumble business. I don't, oops, I don't know what that is. It's like brown sugar. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay, every single one of them except for the cookie one. <laughs> I'm not like totally into the cookie one, but I really like every other one. And now I'm gonna try the great Canadian one. Just got a booking about an hour ago for my massage business, so gotta do that hustle. So I'm here to do a 60 minute, and then I'll go back home and we're gonna make some supper. All right. I'm very excited for this supper, yes. Do you like my crooked teeth? Well, looks like I got my first no-show, but it's a good thing that I massage inside of a gym. Um, it's been a while since I've worked out. I've only actually worked out once for like eight to ten minutes here. They don't actually have the elliptical or like the Stairmaster thing, which are my two favorite cardio things. They also don't have mirrors to like, so you can see what you're doing. Um, so yeah, it's a different style of gym. But I get a free membership here, so I think I should try to use it and stop making excuses. So I'm gonna go and do a little bit of a mini workout. to cool down. This might be the first time I've put shorts on this year. 
Okay, now it's time for supper. So pierogies with some sausage, some homemade sour cream, mushrooms and onions that have been grilled up, and then a salad that's got some garden mandarin chicken in it, as well as I just put avocado on top. And then I love to use this Asian sesame dressing that I got from Superstore. And here are the pierogies. So I do believe these ones are vegan. These are the garlic ones. Mm, here are the ingredients. So as you can see, it says margarine there, but then it says contains it doesn't say any like um, milk ingredients, and then the allergens just says may contain milk. Whereas for the other Chimo brand products, I noticed that it would say it does contain milk when it did have milk in it. And then we have this sausage in it, and in the future we'll probably make it again with these ones, or maybe we'll just barbecue these ones. I don't know. Yummy, 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 yummy. Okay, you can take a bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if these pierogies were going to be a little bit plain, but they are really good. Mmm. These sausages are quite tasty, too. Mm-hmm.